Copy, still to go. I'm doing a thing. Go for landing. 3,000 feet. Shot alarm. 1,400 feet, still looking very good. You have it. We have another 1202 alarm. Roger, no sweat. Roger, 1202, we copy it. How you doing, Control? We look good, you're fine. Roger, right, how about you, Telcom? Go. Guidance, you happy? Go. Fido. Go. We have another 1202 alarm. 21 down, 33 degrees. 100 feet down at 19. 540 feet down at 30. Down at 15. Approximately six hours after Eagle landed safely on the moon, the flight controllers prepared to receive the first television transmission from Tranquility Base. Along with millions around the world, we watched in suspense as a man from Earth prepared to take the first step on another celestial body. Can you confirm that you're uh, reversibly 
issued in the proper position. Okay, we have one side of the Upon exiting the lander, the astronauts' positions were constantly tracked by mission control back rooms, and those movements were projected on the large front room display for flight controllers to monitor. Next you will see, as we did, Armstrong and Aldrin reveal a plaque on the lunar module ladder, which remains on the moon to this day. flag on the moon and spending time adapting to the one-sixth gravity, Armstrong and Aldrin received an unexpected communication. Uh, Neil and Buzz, uh, the President of the United States is in his office now and would like to say a few words to you, over. historic telephone call ever made from the White House. I just can't tell you how proud we all are of what you have done. For every American, this has to be the proudest day of our lives. And for people all over the world, I am sure that they too join with Americans in recognizing what an immense feat this is. Because of what you have done, the heavens have become a part of man's world. And as you talk to us from the Sea of Tranquility, it inspires us to redouble our efforts to bring peace and tranquility to Earth. For one priceless moment in the whole history of man, all the people on this Earth are truly one. One in their pride in what you have done, and one in our prayers that 
you will return safely to Earth. Thank you, Mr. President. It's a great honor and privilege for us to be here representing not only the United States, but and a peace of all nations, and with interest and a curiosity and and the vision for the future. Uh, honor for us to be able to participate here today. And thank you very much, and I look forward, all of us look forward to seeing you on the Hornet on Thursday. Look forward to that very much, sir. After 21 and a half hours on the lunar surface, Armstrong and Aldrin rendezvoused with Command Module Pilot Michael Collins in lunar orbit, returning to Earth and splashing down safely in the Pacific Ocean three days later. Working under the command of Mission Control, a fleet of naval helicopters from the USS Hornet were sent to retrieve the Apollo 11 crew. This is George Hage here on the Blue Fellows. And while the chopper is bringing the the crew back to the carrier, I'd like to make a couple of comments. Uh, first of all, I think you all know that the events taking place here today uh, represent the culmination of the tremendous Apollo efforts initiated by President Kennedy. I think your personal uh, dedication and professionalism displayed here in Mission Control have contributed very substantially to the posture that this country enjoys today in space exploration. Uh, as a personal uh, expression of our gratitude for your help, your cooperation and tolerance over the years, General Phillips and Chet Lee and Tom McMullen and I uh, have left in custody with uh, Flight Director Gene Cramps a small token of our esteem and thanks. Uh, lots of luck and don't choke on the bubbles. <laughs> After 18 days in quarantine here in Houston, the Apollo 11 crew toured the country and the world as America's heroes. Many of my mission control personnel and I flew six more lunar missions from this room, which contributed to the designation of this building as a National Historic Landmark. We thank you for visiting today.